With your local and area news, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Adams Ford in Logansport. The Bull Water Notice has been lifted for Shelbyville. Once again, the Bull Water Notice has been lifted for Shelbyville. The Center Garden Club is having a flower show this Friday, 12 to 4. Cherry Jones, flower show chairman, tells us more. Uh, yes, the Center Garden Club will have its 51st annual uh, small standard flower show Friday from 12 until 4. It's uh, free to the public. Uh, we will have refreshments as well as horticulture exhibits uh, entered by our members, floral designs by our members, and also Center High School, Center Elementary School, and Intermediate all have floral design entries. And as she just mentioned, Center ISD students will be competing in the garden show. Center Elementary student Cambry Bush tells us why she likes doing flower arrangements. I'm Cambry Bush and I'm eight years old and I'm in third grade. And I do the flower arrangement with my granny because I like it. And now moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Michael Johnson, age 46 of Center, driving while intoxicated, evading arrest with a motor vehicle. Eric Carpenter, age 46 of Center, tampering with fabricating physical evidence. And Afadad Muhammad, age 28 of Center, public intoxication. And in St. Augustine County, Kelvin O'Brien Edwards, assault causing bodily injury to a family member. Cynthia Spears Lawen, failure to appear for the charge of theft by check. Now moving along in your obituaries, Glenda Polk, age 65, passed away on April the 2nd. Services will take place this Saturday, April the 8th, at the Roberts Baptist Church in St. Augustine, with Reverend Artis Mosby officiating. Burial will be at the Roberts Cemetery in St. Augustine. Visitation will take place this Saturday, April the 7th, at the Sid Roberts Funeral Home in Nacogdoches from 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., Wake will be held from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. this Friday. Second visitation will be held Saturday, April the 8th at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Roberts Baptist Church in St. Augustine. She is survived by two daughters, two sons, three brothers, two sisters, 24 grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Annie Louise Martin, age 97, passed away April the 3rd. Her service will take place 10 a.m. this Friday, April the 7th at the First Baptist Church in Garrison with Brother John McGuire officiating. Burial will follow at the Greenwood Cemetery. Visitation will be held from 5.30 to 7.30 today at the Garrison Funeral Home. 81-year-old Virginia McDaniel Falk of Joaquin passed away Monday the 3rd in Shreveport. Visitation will be held today from 5 to 7 at the Watson & Sons Funeral Home. Funeral service will take place tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Watson & Sons Chapel with Brother David Long and Brother Mike Cross officiating. Interment will follow at the Lone Cedar Cemetery in Joaquin. She is survived by her son, James Michael, and wife, Susan Falk of Joaquin, daughter, Teresa, and husband, Jamie Beeson of Tyler, three grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. Laverne Holt Meredith, born March 5, 1921, passed away April the 4th in 2017. She will be missed by her son, Max Holt, and wife, Carol, along with her grandchildren. Visitation will be from 6 to 8 this Friday at the Brookside Funeral Home. Great side service will be conducted at 12 p.m. Saturday, April the 8th at the Fairview Cemetery in Center, Texas. This news brought to you by Adams Ford in Logansport.